Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Denisha and this is Recherche Flora. In today's episode, I am going to show you how I separate this Sansevieria. This was a plant given to me by a co-worker who had moved on to better and brighter things and she gifted me this plant and I was so in love with this plant. And um, yeah, so stick around and let's see what I am able to do with this plant. Oh, and if this is your first time to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. And um, please do like and share whatever it is that you felt that I was able to educate you on. All right, guys, stick around. Be back. Okay, so now that I've gotten the entire plant out of the pot, I can notice now that she actually has two new baby plants trying to grow. So now my focus will definitely be on trying to um, obviously keep these two new growths intact, you know, to the, to the mother plant until they are at you know opportune time of being separated from the mother plant so stick around and let's see how successful i am in doing that Okay, so now my goal is to gently massage the soil from between the roots. I've seen many of videos where people just take, you know, a sharp knife or a pair of shears and like separate the plants and then chop straight down the middle. But I, being that this is my first time doing this, I do not want to do that for fear that I will chop off one of, or actually both, of the emerging new plants. My whole goal is to save those plants and to have them continue to grow when they are repotted in their new homes so however long it takes me to massage these roots and save these new emerging plants i will do so so if that is also your goal you will need patience as you can see i can separate the plants and if i wanted to chop right down the middle right there I could have done so, but I chose not to. If I want to cut it. So let's continue the journey. 
grab my shears they are already clean you should always use a nice pair of clean shears their cutting tool whatever you're using make sure it's sterilized okay I'm just gonna place it there cuz like I said I'm not really sure if I want to cut that I'm gonna see if I can work out some more of this soil before I actually do any cutting number but uh, they still call me the second time I'm not gonna answer it I am doing a video like really they interrupted me the first time so there's that okay feels like I'm getting some leeway I don't really want to break all the fibrous roots so I'm trying my best to save these they are very fine very fragile so I'm trying my best to save them let's see what happens I am making leeway though better angle for you guys but as you can see my finger is going in there so I'm making some leeway here Okay, I think I'm gonna have to cut it now because I am inside of here and there is a connection. There is a connection and I'm going to have to cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it. Oh, trust me, I don't want to, but I don't think there's any other way. So, I'm going to take my shears. If I could get a grip. There we go. And I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go down the side. Right here. Cutting all of that root system. Turn it on the other side. Cut that away. Okay, let's see. Wait a minute. Okay, so this, this is actually two. See, like I told you in the beginning, snake plants are not really as you see them so this belongs to this one and this one this very long one right here belongs all the way can you see this connection right here you see that little white spot it's connected to this plant so had i cut that all the way down in the middle right there I would have lost this new plant. And I don't want to do that. So. So 
this one should be just about free. Are you free? Yes, no, almost. You're almost free. Okay. Almost free. Where's my shears? Okay, this one, I believe I can just cut down like that. Yes, we are free. Look, and this is a very very patient job so if you don't have patience with your plants please do not do what I am attempting to do right here because you'll just mutilate and kill the whole plant Okay, there we go. So now I have one standalone free plant. Well, I shouldn't even say one because this is going to be another plant. See, and you want to make sure to come away with enough of the root system so that I can just pot this up and I don't have to, you know, reroot it. And that was the connecting tuba right there the, the the extra big root as I can say that one so here's the thick root system right here and then here's the fibrous root system nice and healthy okay so I'll set that one aside and I want to actually take off that other bigger plants. I actually want to take that one off as well and then I'll just leave maybe I'll just leave the rest of the bunch. So take this off and leave the rest of the bunch. So it looks something like that. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. I have to give my sister a piece and she's right now in South Carolina which means I will have to mail this to her and remember the photo guys this is a very tall plant so I don't really know how I want to do that because I want her to of course receive the plant alive but I don't want to bend the leaves so much so that it you know it defaces the plant it just mess up the leaves these leaves are not they are not um, pliable they are not pliable they're rigid and stiff so I don't know I'm gonna send a piece to my sister but I'll work it out anyway let's get back to Getting this piece away from that other bunch. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Okay. If you hear that snap, that was the thick root being broken away from the other so so I still have a piece of the thick root and here's the new growth with its own roots and here's the fibrous roots so this should be a successful replanting in a new pot. But anyway, I'll set this one aside as well. Okay. 
And now we are left with this root ball. What can I give my sister? Can I give her these little ones? No, I can't. That is, nope. That is attached to a very big stalk. So this is actually two plants? Yeah. This is actually two plants. Can we see that? There you go. This root ball is actually two plants. I could just rip this in half and that would make four separate plants for me. And still, <laughs> Still, I'm not seeing a piece that I could give to my sister because I'm definitely not cutting these leaves in half to ship it down south. Oh my god, I just can't even imagine. I mean, I probably could group the cut pieces, but I haven't been much successful haven't had much success doing um, propagation from cutting the actual leaves. Now if I was to cut the whole leaf from, from the end right here, if I was to actually do that, I've had a bunch of success that way using the whole leaf, but not sections and sections and sections, no. I have not had any success that way. And I don't really want to try it out because this plant is just too pretty to me, so I, I don't want to do that. Okay, so let me figure out what I want to do. Um, let me get back to y'all. 